Hello students, in this video let us solve one more problem on homogeneous differential equations. Solve x square minus y square dx is equal to 2xy dy. Let us call this as equation 1. Okay. So, we will rewrite this equation in the form dy by dx. If you want, you can write it in the dx by dy form. So, I will transpose dx this side and 2xy this side. So, what we will get? Equation 1 implies dy by dx is equal to x square minus y square by 2xy. Let us say, let f of x comma y is x square minus y square by 2xy. Why we are taking? We want to check whether the given differential equation is homogeneous or not. So, therefore, f of kx ky is equal to k square x square minus k square y square by 2 into kx into ky. So, this is nothing but k square common x square minus y square by k into k is k square. So, k square into 2xy. So, this is nothing but k to the power of 0 into this is nothing but f of x comma y. So, f of x comma y. So, thus, it is the homogeneous function of degree 0, right? So, implies equation 1 is homogeneous. Let us call this as equation 2. Now, since the given equation is a homogeneous equation, let y is equal to vx. We do the variable substitution. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to v plus x into dv by dx. Now, substituting this in equation 2, substituting this in equation 2 we have dy by dx is v plus x into dv by dx is equal to x square y, y square is nothing but v square x square because it is vx whole square, so v square x square by 2x into vx. So, this is in the numerator we can take x square common, this is 1 minus v square divided by x into x is x square, this is x square into 2v. So, x square x square gets cancelled, this is 1 minus v square by 2v. So, this implies x dv by dx is equal to 1 minus v square by 2v minus v. So, taking LCM, 2v is the LCM, 1 minus v square minus 2v square which is 1 minus 3v square by 2v. So, now we can apply variable separable here. So, this implies 2v by 1 minus v square dv is equal to 1 by x dx. Now, integrating on both sides. We have integral 2v by 1 minus 3v square dv is equal to integral 1 by x dx. Let 1 minus 3 v square is equal to t. Therefore, minus 3 into 2 v dv is equal to dt, isn't it? Now, we have 2 v dv here. So, this implies 2 v dv is equal to minus 1 by 3 dt. 
Let us call this as equation 3. So, substituting this in equation 3, we have equation 3 implies integral. This is minus 1 by 3 dt. So, minus 1 by 3 integral dt by this we have taken it as t. So, this is divided by t is equal to integral 1 by x dx. So, this implies minus 1 by 3 log modulus t is equal to this is log modulus x because we have log here. So, we will take constant as log mod c constant of integration as. So, now this is nothing but now let us take this 3 here minus 3 here along with minus sign this side. So, this is log mod t is equal to minus 3 into this is log m plus log n is log m n. So, log xc. So, this implies log what is t? 1 minus 3 v square. Right? Here we have t as 1 minus 3 v square is equal to log x c whole cube whole to the power of minus 3 that is x to the power of minus 3 c to the power of minus 3. So, now log gets cancelled. So, this implies 1 minus 3 v square is equal to x to cube x to the power of minus 3 c to the power of minus 3. So, this implies 1 minus what is v? We have assumed y is equal to v x is not it? So, y is equal to vx implies v is equal to y by x, isn't it? So, y, uh, v is y by x whole square is equal to this is c to the power of minus 3 by x cube. So, this implies this is x square. So, take uh, this is x square minus 3 y square by x square is equal to c to the power of minus 3 by x cube. So, this implies uh, cross multiplying this x cube into x square minus 3 y square by x square is equal to c to the power of minus 3. So, this implies 1 x to x square 2 x you know x square gets cancelled in this x remains. So, x into x square minus 3 y square is equal to I will call it as c1 where c1 is equal to c to the power of minus 3 implies x cube minus 3x y square is equal to c1 is the required solution using method 2 that is using condition for exactness ok. So, uh, let us call this as equation 1. Let us rewrite the equation 1 as in the standard form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 ok. So, let us write this as x square minus y square dx minus 2xy dy is equal to 0. So, comparing with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, we have m is equal to x square minus y square and n is equal to minus 2xy. Therefore, dou m by dou y is equal to minus 2y and dou n by dou x is equal to minus 2y. So, this implies dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x implies 1 is exact is an exact differential equation. So, what we can do we can uh, get the general solution as integral m dx plus n dy right. Therefore, the general solution is given by integral m dx where y is constant plus 
integral n dy only those terms those terms independent of x is equal to c so this implies what is m m is x square minus y square dx y constant plus integral n where it the terms we have to consider only those terms which are independent of x so the, the, there is no term which is independent of x therefore it is 0 dy is equal to c so this implies integral x square dx y constant minus integral y square so y square is a constant so i will write it here dx y constant is equal to c so this implies this is x cube by 3 minus y square into x is equal to c isn't it since what is the formula we have used integral x to the power of n dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c so this implies x cube minus 3 xy square by 3 is equal to c implies x cube minus 3 xy square is equal to 3c or you can write it as x cube minus 3 xy square is equal to c1 where c1 is equal to 3c so this is the required solution